Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm going to go ahead and do this project where I swap out the candles on my candle lantern to these uh, liquid fuel lanterns, I guess, for the better word, lack of a better word. And it's pretty simple to do. These are just the Tito's vodka, I think they're like 50 milliliter or something, the, just, the, just the airplane bottle size. They're, they're glass and they have these metal tops on them so they're good to use for this sort of candle lantern or, or uh, uh, gas fueled lantern, liquid fuel. But it's um, really simple to make. Just real quick, how you do it is you take the top off, you pop out the little seal that's in there, and then you punch a hole in the top of this. That's where the wick is going to come through. And then you also want to punch a little side hole, which is a vent, so that um, pressure doesn't build up in there when it gets hot. And then you you just uh, take your string and you double it up and you thread it through the back side. And when you punch this hole, you want to punch it through the bottom side here. That way, the metal that comes up, oops, the metal that comes up around here is sticking up, and so it acts like forks, and it will hold this wick into place, and it won't fall back down into the the little bottle here. But um, you you th thread it through, and then here's one that doesn't have any fuel in it yet, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I'll undo this real quick and show you the back side of it there. Let's see. Okay, I'm having a hard time focusing on this thing. But you get the idea. And then you fill it up with fuel about to like right there to where the neck starts to enclose in. And then you light it and you want to trim the wick really, 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 um, really close to the top of the of the bottle there and that way it'll it won't have too much of a, a flame that goes up if you've got a flame that's coming up and it's like flickering back and forth like this and has a bunch of black smoke coming from the top then your wick is too long but I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of these and then I'm gonna use some Gorilla Glue just to glue these four together and then I'll, I'll put this inside the candle lantern and test that out to see if there's gonna be a temperature difference I think there will be because the candles, you know, there's three of them and this one will have four four heat sources going. So I think it'll be a little bit better and um, looking forward to testing it out once I hit the road. But I'm going to go ahead and get this all squared away and then I'll do a test inside the truck and see how that works. All right guys, so I've been using the, the candle lantern here, the, the candle lantern heater for about two months, and it's been working out really good. I, I wasn't expecting so much snow in Sedona when I was down there, and so uh, the fact that I had this with me was really nice just to keep me warm. There was one night where I got down to seven degrees, and inside my topper it was 55. And so I think that was in large part due to the candle lantern, and the adjustments that I made to this, you know, you, you can still run the three candle candles uh, that come with it and produce a good amount of heat. Uh, my thing was is I didn't want to re, uh, replace candles every night. So you know, if you think about it in the wintertime the nights are shorter so you're going to get in your truck topper earlier or your camper earlier and you want to have that heat when you're in there and so you're going to be running your candles and the candles have a 9 to 12 hour burn so that's basically one night. And you know, you're constantly replacing candles you got to have a lot of supplies on hand whereas this method where I replace the candles with these Tito's Vodka uh, bottles. I'll do a close up here. And you can see the the wicks that are that are uh, in. Why is that not going? There we go. You can see the wicks that are inside them, and then how they drop down from the uh, caps for the Tito's vodka, vodka bottles. But you want to use the Tito's bottles because they're they're glass, and then the top part are, are metal, and so that works out really well for um, you know making the the candle lanterns like I mentioned in the first part of the video. What I did to secure this to the to the base is that if you look here, it's uh, glued on. And I just use a simple Gorilla Glue that you get uh, surface wet and then you, you put some Gorilla Glue on there and then I just bound it together, these together with uh, 
um, what was it? I think like some rubber bands and held them on for like a, about 60 minutes and they're they're really solid together and then this is solid on the base as well I mean you know turn it upside down it's not going to fall over um, the one thing is is when you're using this though you do want to be careful of any sort of spillage especially if you're using this you don't want to knock this over and then have some spill out and then start a little bit of a fire um, the stuff is combustible but it's not like super combustible it's just it's flammable and uh, all the products that I use for this is going to be listed down in the, the links of the description video below so if you want to put this together yourself go ahead and do it and I'd recommend it I mean if you're going to go out camping a bunch in cold weather and you're going to be in your vehicle and you want to have a heat source go with this but two things to remember one keep the wicks really short so you can see these are super short right here the reason for that is you it, the, the flame won't get too big and you're not going to you know if it's, if it's really uh, a thick or a, a big um, wick on there you're going to go through your fuel really fast so you know you want to trim it down and when you trim it down like this it's still plenty of flame that comes up so it provides good heat so uh, the advantage of keeping them trimmed is you're not going to get a lot of that black discharge because when it's when it's going too much and it's burning too much too fast, it has this black discharge that that comes up with the kind of smoke and it's not good. So you want to keep that low. If you keep it low like that, you're not going to get much odor. Um, that does have a little bit of an odor affiliated with the clean fuel, but they say it's safe to use indoors. I still vent the t the truck topper because I d I just am leery of the fumes. I don't want to have it overcome me while I'm sleeping and me never wake up that would really suck and so I keep it vented a little bit and also too that helps with condensation because even though this is a you know a heat source there's still condensation all throughout the inside it's not like a wood stove so you're not going to get it to where it's totally dry but uh, you know just use caution when using something like this I ended up making I took out the glass uh, deal like the glass protector and I ended up making metal ones just out of Coke cans, I just slide in there and then you, you, know, you just put it in like that. I've got ones that go all the way around. And the reason I did that was, was that, uh, number one, these, these tin, this tin does not get hot. So it's kind of nice to have. You can just wrap it around the interior there and then the fires, you know, the flames encased in it. And then um, number two, I want to have something that, that shielded the light because it, it's bright. I and mean, if I'm sleeping or something like that or crashing out, I don't want it to be super bright. But uh, other than that, like I said, you know, uh, just basically the, the supplies real quick. It's the Yuko candle lantern. This is the three candle candelier That's for $39.95. Uh, there's a link below to REI to purchase that You know any liquor store will probably have these Tito's bottles the, the airplane ones just pick up four of them and Like I said in the first part of the video take out the rubber Gasket that's on the underside of these caps before you start making your your wicks and then the only other thing I'd, I may recommend is if you get another bottle, another four bottles of Tito's vodka, then you'd have tops that are 100% sealed. And if you're traveling and you think that there's any chance for your uh, candle lantern to tip over and have this stuff spill out, then what you could do is you could take out the ones that have wicks in it, just you know, take them out, and then replace the tops with the Tito's vodka bottles that haven't been uh, altered for the for the DIY candle heater. So. Um, anyway, I, I think that this is great. I do think that the four lanterns here kick out more heat than the three candles. It just seems like it warmed up a lot quicker. And it was like that real comfortable warm heat. It wasn't just like a propane heat. If people who have worked with propane know what I'm talking about. As soon as you turn the propane off, it gets cold again immediately. Whereas this seemed to have more of like a warm, glowing heat, uh, similar to like what you get with like a campfire. So. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And, and once again, I just want to stress safety when using something like this because, you know, it is an open flame. Even with the candles, you got to be safe. It's an open flame. But I've used them throughout the night, and I, I, uh, I, can, I, I can definitely vouch for the, the heat factor. And then the, the, the fact that I can cook on top of this one, that's even better. So uh, I love dual stuff like that. And if there's anything that has dual purpose, that's great for overlanding. So anyway, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.